South Korea's National Assembly is convening the last plenary session of its 20th regular session today. On Monday, rival party lawmakers reached an agreement to put a unified budget proposal for next year to a full floor vote during this final session. But it's expected to be a long slog as the parties are still negotiating on budgetary revisions. For more on this, we connect to our Kim mo at the National Assembly. mo -gyan. Kian, it's been a chaotic morning, but rival parties were finally able to open the plenary session about an hour ago. Currently, they're on a lunch break, but the session is expected to resume in around, at around 2 p.m. During the first part of the session, the parties voted on 13 non-contentious bills related to people's livelihoods. The bills passed include the so-called Minjik Bill, the revised Road Traffic Act, which seeks to ensure children's safety in school zones, as well as the revised Parking Lot Act or the Hajin Bill, which seeks to install anti-skin facilities to strengthen safety in parking lots. Alongside these, more than 100 other bills related to the economy and people's livelihoods, which had been on hold after the main opposition Liberty Korea Party requested for a filibuster on November 29th, are also expected to be voted on this afternoon. Now, how about the budget proposal? I mean, can we expect it to be approved before the end of the day? Well, we still have to wait and see because news just came in that representatives of the three major parties failed to strike a unified budget proposal at the Special Committee on Budget and Accounts. They've been working since last night, but lawmakers said they were not able to narrow their differences as the Liberty Korea Party wanted more deductions, while the ruling Democratic Party stood its ground saying it wasn't possible. They're still expected to negotiate more, but if the parties can't reach a compromise by the end of the day, the Democratic Party says it's considering even putting a separate budget proposal created by the so-called 4 plus 1 consultative body, together with the minor opposition parties excluding the main opposition. The Liberty Korea Party says it still has room to push through with the filibuster this afternoon, so it could be a long day. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Jean.